Decidueye is finally available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I'm going to be showing you four ways to get it as a shiny in the game. Make sure to watch to the end because I'll be sharing with you some secret breeding tips with egg moves as well as Pokeball breeding or Decidueye. By the way, I took this raid down super easy with my Discord group that just did Fake Tears, Helping Hand, and Maridon went in for the final shot with Electro Drift. Let me know in the comments what you used to beat this raid. The first method is via Pokemon Home. It's not a surprise to Pokemon fans who played previous games that Rowlet has been available in Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, Pokemon Sword and Shield, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. The problem with the 3DS games is that you can only get it legally in a Pokeball. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, you can only catch it in Hisuian Pokeballs. But in Sword and Shield, there was a limited event where you can catch it from a raid den in whatever Pokeball you want, making it completely legal for Rowlet to exist within almost any Pokeball out there. But regardless of where you caught it you just have to send it over to pokemon home and wait until the compatibility opens up if you played on the 3ds make sure you send it from pokemon bank into pokemon home this is probably the easiest way if you caught one in the past and you can send it over because pokemon home is about to open up in the spring the next method is going to be via egg breeding and this is going to be single player method grab the free egg power level 2 that you can find in alfernada so you can make the eggs come out a little bit faster and let's get that powerful shiny relic by breeding it with a masuda 6 iv ditto with a Destiny Knot that you can pick up from Delibird. For those that don't know, a Masuda Ditto are just in a different language than yours and gives you the shiny chance of 1 out of 683 from an egg, and the Destiny Knot will grab the IVs from both parents to guarantee you a 5 IV baby. Basically, if you have the Decidueye from the raid, which is going to be a max IV Pokemon with a max IV 6 IV Ditto, you're going to be 100% guaranteed 5 IV babies no matter what. If you complete your Pokedex with a shiny charm plus the Masuda method, that puts you at a shiny chance of one out of 512 which you can't do any better than this i've been on a huge luck streak with these videos and was able to get my shiny rallet on egg number 29 okay egg 29 oh 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 <laughs> yes let's go oh my gosh 29 oh the next method is going to be via multiplayer breeding. Now, this method is going to work out really well for you if you happen to never have completed the raid or you just missed it. All you have to do is join up with someone in a union circle, and once you get there, both of you pop the egg power sandwich and you start a picnic with them. All they need to have is any type of Pokemon in the Decidueye evolution line, and all you need to bring with you is a ditto. Then you just sit there patiently until the eggs start showing up in the basket, and you can just disconnect into your own world and hatch that egg with your OT on it and start breeding on your own. Or you can have a friendly competition with a friend by breeding together and grabbing all the eggs you want and seeing who gets it first. Whatever you want. All I know is it's a great way to get your own OT on an egg. Now, before we move on to the final method, I did want to share with you some pro breeding strats that I did promise you at the start of the video. So here's some tips about the Pokeball breeding. There is no way to get a Decidueye in a new Pokeball when breeding with a Ditto. It'll always be the Pokeball that Decidueye is in. If you breed two Decidueye with two different Pokeballs, you'll be having a 50% chance of getting either Pokeball. If you're trying to aim for one of those Pokeballs, get the Pokeball you want via Decidueye breeding and then move on to the Ditto so you can guarantee guarantee that. Now, minus the raid, there are some egg moves in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that you can add onto your Decidueye and Baby Rowlets. They are Confuse Ray, which you can add as a TM, Defog, which you can get from the Rufflet line, Double Team, which you can get from the Starly or Noibat evolution line, Knock Off that you can get from Bombardier, and my favorite one, which is Roost, that you can get from Pelipper, Talonflame, Halucha, Noivern, Oricorio, Squawkabilly, Kilowatcho, or Flamigo. In order to pull this off, you need to grab a Mirror Herb from Cascarafa at Delibird Presence. It's under battle items. Find one of the Pokemon that have the egg moves mentioned. For this example, I'm grabbing a Flamigo that knows Roost. Make sure that there is a free slot on your Rowlet's move so you can teach it. You can always remove moves. Put your Mirror Herb on Rowlet and make sure these are the only two Pokemon in your party. Then start a picnic and close the picnic and congrats, you now have an egg move on it that you can breed down into other Rowlet's. Now moving on to the final method, we are going to be doing this one via trading. And we are officially going to announce that 0722-0722 is the official Rowlet to Rowlet trading hotline that you'll be able to access from the online menu. What this means is if you caught a Decidueye in a specific Pokeball, and if you are breeding it to make Rowlets with the same ball you caught in it, 
and just trade via this code to get a Rowlet in a different Pokeball. That's it. It's just a different Pokeball Rowlet hotline. Make sure to spread this around. If you miss this event, you can hop into our Discord community of over 30,000 people and you can ask nicely for a Rowlet in the Rowlet chat over there. Now, the most important thing you need to do is get a Masuda Ditto so you can have the highest chances. So check out this video to see how you can do it.